with her main focus being for the education of the girl child she has also been educating the parents of the children thereby making them literate and aware of the evils of the society she is running a school st matthew's school for such children and did not even hesitate to sell her house and a plot of land for the cause of spreading education let us have a look friends at the work of larzi wardgis this is malvani mumbai's largest slum when i visited this area in 2004 the condition of this area was so worse and pathetic there was no proper road no water facilities and no schools in this area but i saw grown up children were wandering here and there without going to school so i felt felt pity and decided to establish school in this area in the beginning we faced lot of problem of infrastructure lack of buildings lack of benches and toilets etc and i decided and i sold my own pro ancestral property of my village and established a beautiful school for these slum kids i on my journey brought a club of mumbai queens necklace and inner wheel club of mumbai queens necklace joined with me and supported me on this journey i gathered all the children wandering here and there collected together and bring brought to the school and started providing them scholarships uniforms etc and today more than 2000 students are studying in our school from pre primary to junior college we are doing lot of projects work in the school and in the surrounding area such as giving tailoring coaching to unemployed girls night coaching for illiterate women weaker children we are giving extra coaching for the improvement of their education cleaning as drive with indra club we are doing lot of awareness camps against the drugs and intoxicating drugs drinks providing nutritious food for weaker children mothers help care with the good help of doctors hold our kids into responsible citizen today our children are well aware of that they are responsible citizens of the society are they know how to give in the society instead of taking from the society we are providing quality education to all kids especially girls they are really jump in the slum and lot of slumers ladies and gentlemen please put your hands together to welcome this personality who has changed the lives of a thousand thousands of children may i request our i president ravindran to please honor larzi with a shot may i request may i request dr sharmishta manoj desai to please present her with the plaque and pass ri director yash das to please present the citation may i now request kishan kejriwal president of rotary club of belur to please come forward and present a cash award of rupees 1 lakh which he himself has sponsored friends a huge round of applause may i request friends one piece of information which has just come she got the highest 1 lakh 36000 votes when this voting started may i request her to kindly address us thank you sir today i am very much glad pleased good afternoon good afternoon to everyone those who are present here all the rotarians dignitaries ladies and gentlemen all my dear kids nobody noticed them they are still they are here thank you children you are waiting here 
I like to say a few words about my experience. That is, I'm Larsi Vargis from Mumbai, born and brought up in Kerala, and came to Mumbai. And uh, I was working a, a good teacher, or uh, I was uh, working as a reputed school in Mumbai and earning good, running a good uh, coaching classes and everything. But I visited this. Um, the school, this area where there are no school and such pathetic condition diverted my mind and I thought something you want to do for these kids. I thought if I will not do something for these kids, what is the meaning of my education? I, have, I am teaching in such a school, there everybody educated, parents are educated, they have money, they have fees, but these kids, they are wandering here and there, not going to school, um, playing here and there, so I decided I have taken this task, this project, and established a school for these kids. Today, more than 2,000 students are studying, and uh, whenever I face difficulty, I used to remember great great Mother Teresa, who devoted her life for the, for the uh, downtrodden society. Jyotre Fule, you know, she established the first school for girls and she took a lot of uh, struggle. In the initial stage, my parents, my relatives, my even my husband not allowed to go to this such area. They stopped me. They, uh, it is very deeply to felt and saying, and they never uh, spoke to me many times. And, uh, and then I understood, not understanding, because they are afraid to send me to such locality where uh, the area is not good, polluted area, unhygienic area, they felt I will may uh, fall prey of diseases and all. Even then I took the initiative today, till now, uh, 2004 I established a school and till now I am very healthy over there. <laughs> Every day I am roaming here and there with the, um, the filthy area, but even then I am very healthy. So whenever I feel financial um, sufferings, difficulties, Rotary Club, Anju ma'am, I never forget Anju madam, and um, uh, Rotary Club of Mumbai Queen's Necklace, Inner Wheel Club of Mumbai Queen's Necklace, they all came and supported me. They worked with me shoulder to shoulder. And uh, that's why I am there today. Otherwise, I won't be able to survive because no support was there. Even though intention is there, we need support. So I used to t tell even every children, whenever the children, every year 500 to 700 children, they used to pass out from the college and school. I used to tell them promise that you must do some so, so, uh, society activities. You wanted to uh, do some of the activity for the society. And I used to tell them, we born in this earth as a human being. That you want to pray to God, that we got the create, we are, God created us as a human being. Otherwise we have to born as a, like an animal or something, we can't do anything for the society. So I used to make them understand, you, you must pray to God, you must do always human, humanitarian work. Human society, we want to do some work. Other human beings want to do help that we can only do. So that's why they are also doing work. Now it is those who are passing out children, they are also working with me. So today there is a big team. In, uh, the the Emotai project is in future uh, coming years, all will be literate children and the entire society will be literate. So I am focusing that area, many, many work activities we are doing. Um, along with the Rotary Club. Thank you very much. This award, uh, nobody, till today, nobody uh, noticed my work over there. Today, uh, noticed many people. And today, I am happy that I am not alone. So many are here with me. Not, uh, I am, today I am pleased. And um, thank you very much. This will insist me to do more work, more courage. And children are also very happy. You see in many, many, in a, even though it's a remote slum, our school uh, turned up till state level for science activities, science projects. So this way, thank you very much for awarding Anil Agarwal, everybody. Thank you very much for uh, inviting me, for wonderful arrangements, for uh, wonderful opportunities given to me. And hotels were coming here, going everywhere. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Larji, for those inspiring words and well done, good humanitarian work. Thank you. God bless you. Friends, as I mentioned at the beginning, we have many literacy heroes. 
And sitting up there, there are approximately 500 children who are our literacy heroes. When we started this campaign of going to schools and asking every child to reach out to one adult who's an illiterate and train that person to become literate, in approximately 45 days, friends, we were amazed we could reach out to 60,000 people. One of the outstanding persons who helped us reaching out uh, is here. May I request Mr. Shamel Ahmed to please come up on stage. Uh, in Bihar, we reached out to remote areas. I remember when I went to one of those uh, schools, he had 1,000 children present there. And when we started giving the toolkits to them, uh, we, I asked, Kisko padhaoge? The first answer was, Apni ammi ko padhaoge. The second was, Apni fufi ko padhaoge. Ladke ne ka, Apne chachu ko padhaoge. So that was the situation where their own parents and other people in their homes were illiterate. Friends, can we give a round of applause to Shamel? Shamel represents private schools organization in Bihar. He is the president of that organization, which has about it is Hazar school, 25,000 schools, private schools, and he heads that association.